Greetings Freethinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing fine, I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you another incident where... It's another one of those instances where you wake up in the morning and you went to bed thinking you've seen it all. Nothing in the culture war can ever shock you again. I'm sure you've been there yourself. I certainly have for years. This has been happening to me. I think I've seen it all. But then I see something that just shows me that the culture war and society in general gets further and further. It sinks further into the mud. This is a Christian pastor. Now, you know that in Canada, the Canadian government um, has been ordering their police to literally fight a holy war against Christians and this small rural church and other rural churches like it where the people just want to attend church to worship God. Now this only applies to rural Christian churches, big inner city mosques where Muslims go to worship are of course free to do whatever they want. You'll never see this happen to an imam. This is just happening to pastors. Well now we have this clip to watch. This is a SWAT team like group of police who are arresting a pastor on the motorway because he was apparently going to incite people to intend, attend church. He's going to incite people to attend church. Since when has inciting people to attend church been a crime? How can you even... What type of person would even utter something like that? To incite people to attend church. It's insanity. Anyway, look, let's get into this clip. If you haven't yet, uh, if you want to, that is, subscribe to this channel. We are on YouTube and BitChute. If you are on YouTube, there is a notification bell. You can hit that. It may one day notify you when I actually upload. Either way, share this video around, social media and the like. Um, with the normies, your friends, and so on and so on. We are shadow banned like all conservative commentary channels and reduced as YouTube management like to refer to it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so over to the clip. And when you're watching this, I want you to take into consideration that when in a society, when Christian pastors have become public enemy number one and they're seen as radicals and they're hunted down on the motorway, you know that your society has gone to pot. Hello friends, this is Pastor Art Polosky. If you're watching this video, that means they have successfully arrested me and I am in jail. If you would like to support me, if you would like to support Rebel News and the legal team that is trying their best to get me out of this trouble, please go to savearthur.com. Please donate. Look at how they're dragging a Christian pastor along the floor like that. Now, let's play the game that I love to play, which is imagine if they did it to the other side. Imagine if they arrested a... A Muslim Imam and dragged him along the ground like that. Imagine if they focused this energy, their, this hatred they have towards uh, Imams doing what they do, which is to attend the, the mosque, to run the mosque, and to, <laughs> what did they call it, uh, incite people to worship. <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's it, incite people to attend church. But in this case, it would be incite people to attend the mosque. Let's play that game. Let's continue watching the clip and we'll play that game. Imagine if it was on the other side. In this video, that means they have successfully arrested me and I am in jail. If you would like to support me, if you would like to support Rebel News and the legal team that is trying their best to get me out of this trouble, Please go to savearthur.com. Please donate. Please help. The website's on the thing. Look, um, you can go there. He's got a GoFundMe, I think it is. I should imagine that'll be shut down at some point. But I'll keep... Sorry to interrupt, but I'll keep... I mean, the clip's not that long, but it's 
The indignity of them dragging... It's the indignity of them dragging him along the ground like that. With him all bent out of shape. Well, he's not bent. He's kind of like all stretched out rigid. But it's just a humiliation. It is literally adding insult to injury. Um, Christianity is being treated appallingly in its historically... Um, where it's based kind of historically it's historical roots certainly western Christianity anyway I mean look I know it I know the Abrahamic religions all three came from the Holy Land so spare me that I'm not it isn't about that but I'm just saying that the west is Christ, uh, traditionally a Christian culture and this is how we're treating our own religion essentially that's my point jail if you would like to support me, if you would like to support Rebel News and the legal team that is trying their best to get me out of this trouble, please go to savearthur.com. Please donate. Please help. Help me. Help my family. Help my wife and my children to get me out of this horrible, illegal... Look, why can't they just let them walk? Why can't you let someone stand up? and walk to the police car. Why do you have to carry them like that? You know, and also, this is one of those situations where you think to yourself, don't those police officers ever stop to question themselves? One sign of intelligence is the ability to analyze yourself, to put yourself under the microscope. It's something all intelligent people can do. It's something all uh, dumb people, I'm sorry to, sorry to put it that way, but that's the way it is. It's, all, it's, all, it's something that all dumb people cannot do. This is why you get that well, one of the well-known statements of history is, that it's impossible to win an argument against a dumb person, a stupid person. And that's true, because a stupid person, their confidence is sky high, it's at 100%. But their knowledge is at 0%. Meanwhile, a smart person knows that their knowledge is not complete. Knowledge is never complete. You will never know everything. So your knowledge will be a variation between let's say 10 and 90 percent but your confidence will be lower because you know that you don't know everything and then when you get into an argument or a debate with a stupid person nothing you ever say will ever sway them because their confidence is sky high and they think they know everything when in actuality they know literally nothing but of course, I'm digressing. Going back to the situation we have here, I'm guessing these officers are at least partially intelligent. Maybe they are intelligent. And if they are, this is what I'm saying. Why don't you analyse yourself and put yourself into the microscope and ask, is this what you signed up for? Is this it? Is this policing in Canada in 2021? Arresting pastors? For inciting people to attend church. It's like the more that these rural Canadian churches want to open, the more that um, Trudeau and his government seem to crack down on them. This is what this is what happens when you're dealing with socialists. They see and they see your failure to comply as a challenge to their rule. So it's comply or else this happens to you. But unless, of course, you're a protected group, which these days is anything except people like you and me, anything except a heterosexual white male Christian pastor. He, in on the greasy totem pole of intersectionality, he's at the very bottom. How do you know he's at the very bottom? Because he's being treated like this simply for wanting to practice his religion which up until only a couple of years ago was the very first belief you had 
enshrined in whichever country's constitution you happen to abide by and live in in the western hemisphere but look i'll i'll leave it there sorry i know the clip wasn't long this in this video i mean the new cycle weren't much but look i really wanted you guys to see this because when i saw it and the way that they the dragging them off the pastor and i should have and this guy here just like they're pieces of old wood or a bit of old furniture it's like literally they think that these christians and this christian pastor in particular their ideas are old them as white males are old old hat so let's just throw them out let's just cast them aside that's what i think when i see things like this i just hope to god there is officers with at least a shred of humanity humility and compassion and intelligence left um as you guys know if you watch this the only police i have any respect for left are the united states police british police canadian police australian police and so on i have no time for because of their own actions um and it's because precisely of actions like this i know you had the situation with derek chauvin and so on and so on in the united states that being said i just can't picture american police doing this to a christian pastor especially like out in the countryside and rural areas because there was a rural church um, that have been doing all this type of stuff in canada i just can't see it i just can't imagine it but canada britain australia i can manage it a man uh, imagine it <laughs> anyway look i'll leave it there if you haven't yet please like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell or if you can if you've got the time to share it around that would really help me out it would help this small channel hopefully gain some traction once more but thank you for your time i'll see you in the next one goodbye